So what is going on guys, NandroPants93 here with another video. So today's gonna be a fun one. You guys had a ton of questions on Microsoft PowerPoint on the iPad. So I'm using an iPad Pro, which I'll talk about a little bit more. And we're gonna use Microsoft's beta version of their new Office Suite. So I, ha I got my hands on every single application besides the Office Hub. So today we're gonna go over PowerPoint and all the strides that it's made so far with the iPad Pro. And I think you guys are gonna be relatively surprised. And some of you guys might be making the switch over to the iPad Pro sooner than you think. So let's hop right into it. All right guys, so let's jump right into this. Today, obviously we're gonna be talking about Microsoft PowerPoint beta on the iPad Pro itself. I'm rocking the 12.9 inch 2018 model on the Magic Keyboard with the Apple Pencil. So I have basically all the Apple native accessories, but I did wanna show you guys that I'm in test flight right now to show you that I'm using the beta versions of all the Microsoft Suite applications. And like I stated in my last video, I have every single one besides the Microsoft Office Suite Hub, right? That one is the one that I couldn't get my hands on because they ran out of beta licenses to give out for those. But I have Outlook, OneNote, Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. So we already did Word, and now we're gonna do PowerPoint, right? And I'm gonna show you guys all the different things that they added for PowerPoint, some of the new advancements, and then also some of the things that I guess maybe might be missing. So the first thing we're gonna do is obviously just open up Microsoft PowerPoint, see what it looks like. Here is the splash screen, so it tells you get your files faster, use a pointing device, so that's the biggest thing. So they added full 13.4 and up cursor support for all of the native Microsoft Suite applications, right? And that includes PowerPoint. And then they also added the enjoy the new simplified home experience, in, enjoy the new simplified home experience within PowerPoint for iPad along with quick access to relevant files, right? which basically just lets you say, or lets you see your OneDrive files that much easier. So what I wanna do first is just open up a normal one first, right? So let's go into a template. I like this wood type one. Um, boom, we're in it, right? And as you can see, it looks really good. It looks pretty, it looks readable, it looks pretty, it doesn't look like a watered down version of what PowerPoint should be, right? So first, let's go up here. You can see that the mouse is taking over all the toolbar options like it should be. You know, it's magnetizing itself over or hovering over and turning into that button, which we like to see. If we click on the actual thing itself, you can see that now it's turned into a cursor because I'm ready to type. So thanks for watching. And there you go. And if I want to highlight it, you highlight it just like you would on a computer. So this motion I'm doing right now is I'm pressing down with one button on the trackpad and then sliding with the other finger on the same trackpad and boom, I'm highlighting just like I would on anything else. So it's working like a mouse should work. If I double click on it, or if I use two finger gesture click, you get all the options. I can select all, cut, copy, paste, copy format, and even have suggestions, right? Um, to see if there are any suggestions. So the next thing I wanna see is how the mouse reacts when I start to moving shapes or moving text boxes and things like that. So here I have a text box. Let's double click in it. You can see that the cursor turned into it. So let's edit in here and say, a sub would be awesome. If you guys want to sub, you guys know that our sub to unsubscribe ratio is terrible, so definitely help me out there, guys. But if we continue, you can see that also the mouse is turning into this like four-cornered, you know, pointer device that allows you to move the text box. So you know and the device knows that you're in a text box now, and it's super easy to move around, super easy to make small and big and flip upside down and do whatever you need to do to manipulate that PowerPoint to look how you want, right? And then if I want to add a new slide, just go up here, add another slide, right? two finger button also over here another way to add a new slide right if i two finger click on the on the main title i have the option to cut copy duplicate delete hide and share so just like any other powerpoint application on a desktop would do right and then you can even touch on the layout so if i go onto here hit the layout you can change the layouts just like you would on a regular powerpoint presentation so what i want to do now is add a picture from my files app. So if I come down here, go to my files app, I can move the files app over. So boom, there you know that PowerPoint works with another application in multitasking. So that's amazing to see. I wanna see what it looks like if I grab this forest mountain, drop it onto here, what's gonna happen? Boom, I'm right there. And not only that, but it has that smart adapt feature that PowerPoint just brought into with their new beta versions. You know, it works on Mac OS already, which I saw this feature a couple weeks ago and I absolutely loved it. It basically takes any image or any data point, right, which for this instance is an image, and then tries to turn your slide into something a little bit better, right? So for instance, design ideas, boom. I can automatically change it. And I'm gonna move this over just to give you guys a better view. So I can automatically change it there. It gives me this look, this look. 
So it just gives you all this customization, which is awesome to have on your iPad Pro. And I just, I love these design ideas that Microsoft gives us just to get a little more creative. And it makes it seem as if, you know, you kind of know what you're doing on PowerPoint when you really don't, right? So I'm gonna edit this slide and you can see how responsive it is, right? I'm just moving from image to different design idea to then text and still no hiccups in the actual performance of PowerPoint, which is amazing to see. So over here, let's type in, hello? Thank you. All right, so that's in there, my YouTube channel. So everything seems to be working, especially on a surface level, right? On a surface level, PowerPoint is working and all those cool things that we're used to seeing are working at the same time as well. So what I wanna do also is I'm gonna add another image. So I'm gonna go back into my files app. We'll move this over to the side. I'll even make this smaller just so you can see a little bit more of the PowerPoint presentation. Scroll through here, let's throw this picture in here. Boom, it took a second to migrate over because I think I had to download off the OneDrive. But let's make it a little bit smaller and there it is, right? I have it, it's moving around, no big deal. You even have the options over here to style them, forward, back, do everything you need to do like you would on regular PowerPoint. So let's move this back over. And then what I wanna do now is, let's see if it works with a second instance of Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's go down here, click on PowerPoint, move this over, and then voila guys, we are in a separate Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's open up, I'm just gonna open up a blank one right here. You can see there it is. And I wanna see if I can actually move this image over. Let's try this out together. And yes, I can, it duplicates the image. I can change the design ideas right then and there. So, so far PowerPoint, the functionality is amazing, right? It's pretty on par with what you get from a desktop application. I love the dual functionality. Can we get a third instance? We can get a third instance of PowerPoint if we really wanted to. Why would somebody need three PowerPoints open at the same time? I have no idea, but that's an option if you guys really wanna have that option. So we'll quit out of that. We'll quit out of this PowerPoint presentation. So there you have it. We have PowerPoint on a surface level working perfectly. So now what I wanna do is go home. Let's go back into like the text, uh, see what we're dealing with, right? So normal text box, you have all the different fonts that you can choose from, size, bold, italicize, uh, style formatting. So you can even strike through. So if I wanna highlight this, right? And strike through right here, boom. Strike through right there through the hello, thank you. Even though I actually mean it, you can change you can add bullet points like, like you guys have seen. You can shift paragraphs. You can change the indentation, so align it to the center. Uh, you can even add shapes in here. So let's add a rectangle just for fun. Boom, all of a sudden you got a rectangle just open up in there. And then not only that, but I'll grab the pencil, which I just took off, and then I can just start annotating, right? You tap once on the screen to, for it to recognize it, and then you start writing, right? I'll put my Twitter on there, guys, because we're doing a giveaway here soon. So definitely do that. And also shout out to Paperlike, because I love that brand. They sponsor the channel. They help make videos like this. And it makes writing on the iPad Pro that much better. First link in the description, first pinned comment, guys. Check them out. Paperlike is worth every single penny. But as you guys can saw, if we continue with the video, that the second I touched, so if I go back to insert, the second my Apple Pencil touches the screen, the iPad recognizes that, PowerPoint recognizes that, the toolbar changes to the pencil toolbar, and it lets you pretty much do everything you want, right? But again, know that you can't use Scribble, which is that functionality that changes handwritten notes into text, because what it does is if I hold down on here, you can now move this around and it turns into one large image. So you can still move this and copy and cut it as an image, but if I press delete, they're all gone. So if I press Apple Z, Shortcuts work as well, guys. Shortcuts work. People were asking me that with Word. I'm not a big shortcuts guy, at least not with PowerPoint or with Microsoft Office Suite. I do use shortcuts a lot in LumaFusion, so Apple Z, if I control exit, it's gone. If I bring it over here, control Y it, or control V it, it pays. So shortcuts seem to be working, and they seem to be working extremely well. So if we move over to the next one, right, the design. So again, you can continue to change the design, continue to change the themes format the background, and then again, my favorite part, the design ideas, guys. I love these design ideas because it makes you seem like you know what you're doing on PowerPoint. And then what is PowerPoint without transition effects, guys? So if I wanna add a transition effect, let's do a little push up, right? And then we'll press play. Boom, it pushed up. Ah, so there's no escape key. I went, I went immediately to press escape, but there's no escape key on the Magic Keyboard. So I mean, if you have an escape key on a Bluetooth keyboard, then it might work, but I can't guarantee that, guys. Because sadly, my Magic Keyboard for the iPad Pro does not have an escape key. But if we continue to go, then we go into all the different animations that we can do. So throw this in here. You can probably animate this, so entrance effects. So I want it to peek in, right? Boom, done. 
Let's press go back here. Let's press play. See what that looks like. Press spacebar. Again, boom, it peeks in. It looks really good. We're done. So animations work. And then we go into the slideshow, right? So you can start it from slide, start from current, and then there's even presenter view. So presenter view is if you have it plugged into an external monitor. Obviously, normally when we plug in an external monitor to an iPad, it just mirrors a screen. But with PowerPoint, it puts it into presenter mode, which basically allows the presenter, myself and yourself, to look at the PowerPoint how you want it to be looked as with your notes and with all the slides visible. And then on the screen itself, you see just the PowerPoint slide. So it's just how presenter mode should be. And then lastly, we just have the review, which is the comments pane to be able to use if you have a collaboration with somebody else through OneDrive, that's what this is for. And like I said, you have the play button, a little help button right here. So just so you know, with this little, whenever you have to type something into an actual text box, not including a text box inside the PowerPoint, but in this instance, Scribble works. So if I just say, hello, then boom, there it is. So Scribble works in that instance and also works in the search functionality up here. So if you wanna see how many times the word thank comes in, if I can get it to work. Boom, it shows you how many times it shows up. Three separate instances up there, as you can see. So all in all, PowerPoint is a great application. And then I wanna show you guys one more thing. So I'm gonna delete this draft because I don't really need it. Again, easy access to all of your OneDrive material, right? So this is what makes the iPad so amazing when it comes to being able to use it as a supplemental device to whatever you have going on currently. So I just go into my, my work folder, see what I have open. And not only that, but I can open stuff up and then edit it on the fly. I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to. And the beauty of it is that you can edit stuff on the fly and make changes. And if it's on a OneDrive that's shared, then somebody on the other end is gonna see that change immediately as long as you have internet. But that is my pretty rough rundown on PowerPoint and how it's kind of adapted to the new iPad Pro and iPad OS 14. Let's get out of this view and go back to the normal view. And that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Like I mentioned, the PowerPoint application for the iPad or on iPad OS 14 is probably the best one so far. I still have to play with Excel, I still have to play with Outlook and Teams, but you know, Word is Word itself. It's just a text editor which has a lot of functionality. And we learned it here with PowerPoint that all those shortcuts work. So for those people that want to know shortcuts work on Microsoft Word, they work on Microsoft Word because they work on PowerPoint. Right? So PowerPoint seems to be a full-fledged version of PowerPoint on the iPad Pro finally. So if you love your iPad Pro and you're just waiting for Microsoft Office to be ready for you to use in a corporate setting, I think if you're a, a super heavy Excel user, you still have to wait a little bit, but if all you use is email, PowerPoint, Word, a little bit of Excel, then I think that's all you need, guys. So I'm very, very happy with PowerPoint. I'm very happy that Microsoft finally decided to help us out a little bit and finally put in those man hours to really change it up because A, it's a money maker for them. They know the, they know the market that has the iPad and it's people like us, people like you and me that just want to use a cool, awesome, fun device during work, right? People that are tired of Lenovo ThinkPads, people that are tired of Windows 10, right? People that just want something better, more portable, something just a little bit sleeker, guys. And that's my review on PowerPoint. I think PowerPoint is ready to go. It gets my stamp of approval. And next up, we're either gonna do Excel, Outlook, or Microsoft Teams, guys. And then I'm also gonna have a OneDrive video for you guys and kinda, and then one final all-encompassing video on my workflow with Microsoft Office and how it's worked for me so far, especially with the new betas, guys. So I'm gonna try to find out when, those, when the final release of these new betas are gonna come out, because I'm unaware of it but I'm hoping at least in the next two months, guys. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay subscribed for more Microsoft content. Check out Paperlike because they sponsor this channel and just it makes your workflow that much better, especially if you're an Apple Pencil user or if you just wanna get rid of some glare, guys. But that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, let's keep growing.